Hello YouTube and welcome to the 19th tutorial in the PHP programming series and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way to output the current date and the current time in PHP. Now this will take the time and date of your server into account so whatever time zone your server is set in. You can modify the time zone inside the PHP document but I won't cover that today because this is just you know a simple tutorial so what we're going to do is create our starting and ending PHP tag to create the file. I'm going to call this timeDate.php. Okay, and the easy way to call a time or date is with the date function. So simply type date, and then we'll have two brackets and a semicolon. And um, the way to define the or output the date is to use just a simple letter for each one so to give the month in um, in a numeric form you'll type M and then you can type your own character here I'm just gonna put a little dash and then for the day it's just a D and then a little dash and then for the year it's a Y and we'll end that so what that should output is it should say so month is first I'll say 10 and then 04 and then 2011. So because we have specified it as lowercase m, it will do the two numeric numbers for the month, same with the date, and same with the year. So let's just test this out. What we're going to do is echo the current date, save time date.php, and you'll see it echoes 10 for 11. So we're going just to store this as a variable, just have date. Is equal to that. Okay, now for the time, it's similar thing but with different characters to represent the hours, uh, seconds, and the minutes. So I'm just going to do time equals date, and then same again in brackets and in quotations. We're going to type a uh, capital H. Then we're going to do I and then S. And if we reload this, actually I'll put. We have to echo it out so. Echo current time is and then I'm gonna output the time variable. So if we refresh this, so the current time is twenty two forty three fifty and that is the current time. So we go back here, you'll see that the capital H is for a twenty four hour clock, and then the I is for the minutes and the S is for the seconds. So that was just a simple tutorial on how to um, use the current time and date for a server. I'm actually going to link in the description for php.net a little glossary for different characters you can use to represent like the day which I think is L so we can just say day equals date L and we'll just echo out the current day is day save that and there's a syntax error so it must not be L actually no we just left out a semicolon we love that according to day is Tuesday and that is correct as well so you know you can just play around with this you can use this in your website if you want say if you want to display the current time at the bottom of your website or if you you know you're working with something else and want to post the current date it was posted so that is just a little overview. So it's just a little look at the date function. So as I said, a link will be posted in the description for all of the different parameters you can use to output different styles for the date and the time. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Have any comments, put them in the in the comments section below. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. And keep watching for the next video.